Hi, and welcome to Power Driven Diesel. Uh, right now, we're going to be testing the Borg Warner SXE369. Uh, right now, on this turbo, we have the 0.91 non wastegated T4 housing. Uh, we've ran this turbo in the past with the 0 0.80 T3 wastegated housing, so we're excited to see uh, how this different turbine housing compares with that one. We're going to do the same test we've done in the past, which is an unloaded, uh, just the weight of the drums from 1300 to 3200 RPM. And then we're going to do a test with the uh, loaded at about 5,500 pounds from 18 to 2,800 RPM and see how this thing responds. So with that, we'll start this truck up and do our first pull. Alright, let's pull up the graph here and take a look, see what's going on. Alright, so let's see here. Let's look at this guy here. Alright, so peak power on this guy 633, 634, and um, that's about 2600, 30, 2600 RPM, 2700 RPM. Our peak torque on this one. It was 1286 it appears and so uh, we're gonna pull up now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pull up the graph of the same exact run in the 0 0.80 housing give me a second while I search for this but we're gonna compare the 0 0.80 the same 1300 to 28 or to 3200 rpm run and uh, see how it compares did we pick up any spool did we lose a ton or this will be power the next one we're gonna do we'll graph by time then we'll really see if we if it's how much slower or quicker it is to spool. Um, some people say the 0.91 T4 is amazing; it'll spool up quicker. Okay, let me figure out which one I'm looking at here. Okay, so as far as power, the 0.80 really really came on a lot faster. It had a higher peak torque, and you see right here, and the 0.91 uh, didn't makes much torque but gosh it sure carries it nicer as the rpms climb it doesn't fall as fast you can really see that down here the horsepower curve it really carries out a lot nicer doesn't fall as fast um, however you can definitely see we are behind everywhere up until you know 20 6 2500 rpm so as far as that test is concerned we are behind everywhere until 2500 rpm However, it doesn't even start going until 21, so it's not like, you know, you're just a couple, it's, you know, a little bit behind, but when it hits, it really just rockets up there. Well, let's do this. Let's, let's, let's pull up the next test now. We're going to do the loaded run here, and uh, we're going to see how it compares by time versus the, the .80. So here we go.
Okay, so here we are. We've got this graph pulled up. This is uh, the 0.91 by time. So we're seeing how many seconds it takes to get to peak torque. And on this guy, it takes about nine, right around nine seconds to peak torque. So from the time we rolled into it at 1800 RPM till peak torque was nine seconds. So you're definitely going to want to have more than 1800 RPM, a loose stall converter or downshift to get this thing going because that's a lot of lag down there. Let's compare this now to the 0.80. Let's see how it did with that 0 0.80 housing, the T3. And we'll pull that up here. Okay, so the 0 0.80 is in green, the 0 0.91 is in red. Uh, we can see quite a big difference by time. Uh, that one got peak torque in, what was it here, about 5.96 seconds. So we know the other one is 9 seconds, so it's about 3 seconds. That, that 0 0.11 difference in AR, the 0 0.80 to 0 0.91, we lost three seconds to peak torque. The numbers themselves are not terribly different. Um, just the one came on so much faster. Uh, you know, on these tests with this 0.91, we were seeing about 50 pounds of boost on the gauge. And um, it took a minute to get there, but it shoots up there pretty quick. Let's look at our averages here. Let's see. I, mean, I know the 0.8 is just going to kill it here because... It split up so much faster, so okay. So the AO average horse torque was 900 foot pounds, and the 0.91 average torque was 771. The average power for the 80 is 395, average power for the 0.91 was 333. So obviously, much which we'd expect that because the um, split up so much faster. If we carry the window out past 3200 RPM, perhaps the 91 would win. Maybe not, but um, uh, I don't think this this is you know a great test for this charger. We have this t truck tuned for uh, you know the 62 millimeter variant chargers and, and 500 500 horsepower, 550 or so, and so um, I wouldn't tune a truck the same way with this turbo as those turbos. We wanted to have a apples to apples comparison, but really I, I think we're kind of holding back this charger. We're gonna. We're gonna bump the timing up on this truck now. We're, uh, we're about 22 degrees, 24 degrees, somewhere in there. And I think that this charger will be happy around 30 to 32. We're gonna really bump it up there and see if it really starts to shine and pull some good power and really, I think the upper RPMs are really gonna help out as well. Uh, see what this thing does, so. Anyway, if you, uh, that'll be our next test. If you wanna watch that, uh, feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, Power Driven Diesel, or Feel free to call us here at the shop at 435-962-9555 or go to PowerDrivenDiesel.com and uh, we will talk to you later. Thanks.